Welcome into the VHNX Sun Devil Show. I am Anthony Tochi. Here you are. Here with Big Pokey himself. Here I am. The fish keeper. Yeah. We've also got DJ Jacob Franklin behind the Mac making all the magic happen, D -d 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 guys. DJ Jacob Franklin, he's got a kid. He does have a child, dude. And it was his birthday on Do Sunday. Do us his birthday. Birthday, birthday, yes, birthday. Do us a solid. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. If you're listening on audio, throw out a five-star review. You, you might as well, right? You might as well. Guys, let's let's just let's just keep this music running the, the entire show. To be honest with you, it goes crazy. It goes absolutely crazy. Guys, we're gonna be talking a lot about spring foosball today. We've got the transfer portal, the next window opening on Tuesday. That goes through the next 15 days. We're gonna talk about that at the tail end of the show. We're gonna be talking about Frankie Collins becoming a TCU Horned Frog. Also, the rest of the ASU basketball roster and kind of where it's at at this point. But we are going to start with something that came across Twitter, X, whatever you call it, over the weekend. The Heinz Ward, Pittsburgh Steelers legend Heinz Ward, is the new wide receivers coach for your Arizona State Sun Devils. We talked about Heinz Ward a little bit, a little bit later last week, just about you know being on campus um, for, for an Arizona State practice, um, and then eventually it was real like Heinz yeah. Ward is is your wide receivers coach before we get into this Joe professional Joe is in the chat now professional Joe's professional in the chat. Joe is there an unprofessional Joe? yeah when, he, when it's not when it's not his name and he's not wearing a suit ah uh, gotcha. um hi Joe welcome back uh so yeah I'm walking I'm walking toward the the start of Pat's run on on Saturday and it was 6 30 in the morning and I get a push alert from ESPN I'm like okay East Coast News something nope ASU hired Heinz Ward, I'm, and, I, and I like wanted to talk to Kenny and be like, "Dude, what are you doing? Why? Just wait a little bit. Just wait until after." Nah, nah. No, it's awesome. It is. It is awesome. It's exciting. I, th I think again, if for those of you that are watching or listening to this podcast and you don't know who Heinz Ward is, first off, shame on you. Uh, Heinz Ward is one of the greatest receivers in Pittsburgh Steelers history. He's, I mean, a Super Bowl MVP, won two Super Bowls with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, most recently though, he's been, been out of football and I don't know if you've done this. He, he's like done a million and five different things, literally a million and five different things. Uh, it was on dancing with the stars, <laughs> dark Knight rises, yeah. obviously returned that kickoff. <laughs> uh, he's on the walking dead for a little bit. Yeah. Studio analyst for football night in America. Well, like this guy has done everything. The it, coach for the Brahmas. Yeah, the head coach was hired by uh, Florida Atlantic as to, to be a special assistant to the head coach, worked as an offensive assistant for the New York Jets. The head coach of the Brahmas? <laughs> the XFL Brahmas? I don't know if you've heard of them. He's done He's done it all. And, and now I think to to be where he's at at this stage in his career, to, to be a wide receivers coach at Arizona yeah. State with the room where it's at, I don't think Kenny Dillingham could have made a better hire, to be honest yeah. with you. Somebody commented underneath the announcement tweet that we put out about Heinz Ward and they were like yeah but didn't he coach for the XFL last I'm like yeah but I'm not why would I put that in the copy who yeah. cares <laughs> um no it is cool that he was a head coach at, at any any level um but yeah this is a guy not only with obviously tremendous insight into how to became become a great receiver yeah but also just has that experience and Joe I completely understand why you're saying all I get is herm herms herm vibes with this hire I'm sorry I, I understand that because I I, we, I did mention it to Totru when the rumors were first floated about hiring Heinz Ward. It's like you're getting an NFL guy, and you know, but Heinz doesn't seem like that type of guy. No, absolutely he's not. Gonna, he's not going to tell you about recess when you ask him a question that should just be a simple answer. <laughs> you mean he's not delusional? Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I I, th I think for me, um, something that that sticks out right about this hire specifically is something that Kenny had brought up. 
uh, a little bit later on when he was asked about the, the hire for Heinz Ward and how he kind of knew that Heinz was cut from the same cloth, right? And, and it has to do with Heinz, I guess, sitting in uh, on a meeting and he had taken notes. And they it wasn't notes that had to do with like the scheme yeah. or with what was going on. It had to do with the culture and what was being built just vibes just yeah vibes. he was getting a vibe check he was literally taking he was notes. Vibes. he was taking notes on the vibes and and that for kenny spoke enough in, in terms of like again being cut from the same cloth and, and just being like-minded to him marcus arroyo sean aguano some of yeah. these other coaches that you have at jason mons that you have at arizona state that all kind of share that same mentality to where yes scheme is important yes Play on the field is important. But like in terms of trying to get Arizona State on track to where this program wants to be, where Kenny wants to get it, it's going to take more than just a great scheme. Yeah, It's going to take truly a complete transformation in culture. And I think Heinz Ward furthers that. Now, again, I don't think there's any question, and there, there's never been a question in my mind, can Heinz Ward coach college receivers? Can he develop college yeah. receivers? I think that is very clear. I think for me, the question becomes something that you don't even really see this year, but maybe in the future is how well can Heinz Ward recruit? Yeah, I I, I will. I will just to combat it a little bit. Yeah. I will say we don't know for sure if he can develop college receivers. Like that's not like yes, he ha he knows how to play football, yeah. and he's a, he was an unbelievable receiver in the NFL. But you don't know for sure. Like like I I can I can edit a video, but I'm not, I don't want to teach anybody to do that. Yeah. Uh, like I hate that, but you have the skills to do that. Yeah. But I'm not a great teacher. Uh, and that's fair. And, that's and, fair. and so we don't know for sure. And I, but that being said, he has had many roles to one own his craft, but two to have people hire him because they can see potential in it or that he already has that ability. Um, so yeah, you would assume he can, but yeah, the recruiting thing is a big thing. One thing that I like about this hire is the guys that you were worried about staying, you should be a little bit less worried because you're not just bringing in some passing game coordinator from a division two level or a, or a power five, or you're not just bringing in this guy that was an assistant coach at uh, an sec school. No, you're bringing in fucking Heinz Ward, yeah. like a super bowl MVP. Yeah. Like that, that <laughs> should be pretty cool for a lot of these guys on the roster. That being said, like, it, uh, like I'm not gu guaranteeing people will stay because of that. I like, as, as we'll talk about later, I'm sh we're expecting some guys to transfer and maybe some receivers. Yeah. But, that is a good step up, and that is silver lining for right now, and that's yeah. That's big. And I, he did it without an AD. Yeah, Who needs one? that's true. Who that's needs true. One? Look, I think I think for me, and I was I was thinking about this on my drive to work th this morning, just in terms of like you know that there's going to be wide receivers that probably enter the portal. We thought that that was a possibility regardless of Sam being the wide receivers coach, yeah. just because it is such a stacked room. I think for me, if there is a guy that wants to be in the NFL. Right. If you play wide receiver and you have aspirations to play on Sundays, I can't think of a better Big 12 school right now than Arizona State for the sole purpose of having a guy who has done it at the highest level. There is not a single wide receivers coach in the Big 12, maybe the country, that has done it to the level that Heinz Ward has. Yes, yes. I think in terms, again, and, and to your point earlier, we don't know for combating sure the, the development part of that, I totally understand. I'm leaning more on the, I don't I don't even think optim, optimistic is the right no, word of I it, did. but like leaning toward the fact that this is a guy that has succeeded and done a million in different things in yeah. his career thus far, right? He doesn't move from job to job because he's not good at it, right? He, he has, it seems like an aspiration to try yeah. new things and to try new challenges. And I think for me, again, Heinz Ward as your wide receivers coach after a three and nine season over a, a rebuild with a young head coach, a new offensive coordinator, a loaded room. This is the place for young wide receivers. I genuinely believe this. This is not me just spewing bullshit. This is like, seriously, if you're a young wide receiver going to, to Kenny Dillingham, who is going to be 100% honest with you at all times, you've got an offensive coordinator in Marcus Arroyo who has had wild success at a very, very high level with Oregon. Right. And, you, and in this conference. And in this conference. Now you bring in a Super Bowl MVP, one of the best wide receivers, not only in Steelers history, but in the 2000s point blank period. Yeah. Right. And if you're a young wide receiver, you can go to that room. And who do you have? You got an Elijah Badger right now. You got an Xavier Guillory right now. You've got a Jordan Tyson right now. 
Troy O'Meary, guys that you could learn from, right? Now I'm not saying Cooper Perry like like that that would, you know, really alter his decision because Arizona State is not playing with the same NIL packages that some of these other schools are playing. So yeah, I get NIL and money is a big selling point to some of these guys, but I, I genuinely believe that if you are a young wide receiver, Arizona State is one of, if not the best place in the Big 12. Yeah, I, I do understand what Joe's saying. My biggest concern is he lost an A-plus recruiter and exchanged him for an unknown. Perhaps coaching on the field would be better, but I'm concerned. Going back to what I said last week before this hire was made was, you know, I was a little skeptical about hiring somebody like him just because of the the Herm-isms that we feel a little yeah. bit. Um, but again, we don't know. I, I, I think that was, that's just that's just the NFL comparison. Yeah. But what I did say was, whoever Kenny hires in this situation, I'm confident because I know Kenny's going to hire the guy. And and again, he was spearheading this process. Is going to vet and hire the guy that is going to fit perfectly with this culture. And you can see that already happening from the the meeting he sat in and and just kind of how he how he already integrated himself into into this not only room but the but the team mm-hmm. uh and 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 so it's a plus that he was a super Bowl mvp he could have hired anybody somebody that i've never heard of before yeah. and i still would have been confident because that's how much i believe in what kenny's doing so just the resume after the fact is just a bonus yeah to me absolutely sweet prince kenny chat with a 199 super chat uh he's he's just here to to fire bobby hurley that's that's what yeah. sweet prince kenny is is Asking for in the chat. Per usual. Um, yeah, the absolutely. Uh, AD, is that the athletic director of ASU? Bobby, Willie, and Kenny are the worst collection of major sport college sport coaches in the it's country. It's not true. Disagree, but it's if you're true. looking for a job, we have an opening. Well, yes, we do. We do. Athletic director, um, if you want to slide in. I don't know that. if we want him doing that right now. Though. Well, I mean, you can interview. Yeah, he can oh, interview. You know what? That might be Anthony Davis. Mm. Street clothes? Mm. That's him? That's tough. Is he in street going into the playoffs? Mm-hmm. Probably. No? He's not? No. He Look, played unbelievable against the Pelicans. He looks so good. I'm scared of the Lakers. Oh. Yeah, the Lakers are a team you don't want to see right now. Just saying, just throwing that out there. But talking, talking Arizona State. I, I think again, you're you're going to learn a lot about Heinz Ward here um, through the the last few weeks uh, of spring football. I'm excited to see and get. Yeah. You know, we we get a look up close and personal where a lot of these these fans don't necessarily get to do that. Like we get to be there as they're going through individual yeah. drills, just to see how he coaches. Right, because on the field he was always. My dad used to call him Mr. Smiley because any time that you would literally see a cutaway of him, like, yeah, he, he had a giant smile on his face. What did Kenny? What did Kenny say about about uh, potential recruits on Thursday? He said, "I want guys here that just love ball." Yeah, and he loves ball. Heinz Ward just Heinz loves Ward ball. Loves ball, and I tweeted it out. It's it's Heinz Ward is a phenomenal receiver, not just because he was a great pass catcher but because of how dominant of a run blocker he was. And you know the offense that Kenny and company are trying to to, to really get acquainted, uh, acquainted here. Like, this is something that I think can can only improve the Arizona State offense, having a guy that was one of the best run blockers at that position as well over the last two decades. Like, I think, again, it is a, it is a home run higher in my eyes for Arizona State. Could I be proved wrong? Absolutely. For sure. Um, people were celebrating the Herm hire. That's true. That is absolutely true. You just never know. But as I said, I trust Kenny. Yeah. And th- I don't know if you saw it. Kenny talking. This is the, the day of Cooper Perry committing to Oregon where he got he got a little heated and, and not heated like angry, but like just passionate say, about like what? Did you just say? I don't know if you saw it. Oh, fuck. I recorded that. Oh, OK. I well, posted that. Oh. <laughs> Listen, man, I was in Canada, okay? I was just scrolling the internet from time to time. Um, but the the entire it, Yeah, no, it, that's what I was referring to when he said when he said, I want a guy that I want people to come here that, that love ball. It can be with a guy from Arizona, or it could not be, as long as they come here knowing that we are going to win. Exactly. And we're, we're going to win, to win with guys that aren't from Arizona, that guys are from Arizona. I don't care where they that are. That got me fired up. Yes, that got, got me, me fired, fired up too. Up. I can't even imagine. Like you, I, I think if I was out there, I would run through a wall. Yeah, I, I'd You're, dap Kenny up right there. I'd yeah. be like, "No, nah, I get it." Man. Where's your son? Let me I dap him up get too. It. <laughs> Kent, fist bump. Come here, man. Is, is Kent more of a fist bump guy or dap oh, you yeah. up kind of guy? Yeah, Kent's. Kent, well, Kent's either a mean mug or a fist bump guy. Mm. Yeah, that's fair. That is absolutely fair. No, look I, again. I think just to to bring that whole Heinz Ward hire home, and again, obviously, we're going to be out there through the next couple practices um, and the spring game 
for the Arizona State side level. So we'll be sure to keep everybody updated on anything that Heinz Ward has to say, his coaching style, um, what the wide receiver room is going to continue to look like as the transfer portal opens up. But regardless, I think it was a, a really good hire given the circumstances of the situation yeah. in being able to fill that position quickly, right? Because Arizona State, I know Kenny said, hey, this could take three days or it could take two weeks. I'm calling BS on that a little bit. There was no way Kenny was going to go into this transfer portal window opening on Tuesday without a wide receiver coach. I just I find that really, really yeah. hard to believe just because you know the 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 age of college football that you're playing right now. It would be a very dangerous game to have some of your most talented players head into the potentially head into the portal window um with, with no position coach. Yeah. So that's where I'm at with the whole Heinz Ward thing. I think it's a home run hire. And I think for everybody at home, while we're talking about home runs, Shane, do you have? Yeah, I'm putting together a home run parlay right now. Yeah. We're going to cash Jacob, money. Jacob, who's hitting a home run in the D-backs game? Ooh, let me pull up the, the lineup really yeah, fast. You pull up the lineup. Um, so I know for sure we're going Juan Soto uh, because Bassett's on the mound, I think. Yeah, Bassett's on the mound. Dude, dude can't pitch against Juan Soto's. <laughs> So Juan Soto's, Juan Soto's? Yeah, Juan Soto's. There's multiple, damn. Yeah. Um, so we're taking Juan Soto to hit a home run on Bab Jam. And we're taking who to hit a home run, Jacob. Jacob, it's all vibes. Who is it? Do you know who's on the mound for Chicago? Yeah, uh, no. Uh, ben Brown. Ben Brown? Yep, not a real person. Dude's not real. No. That's, so not a, that's not a real person. Um, Just vibes. This vibes. Feel it, feel it, feel it, feel it. I I called Jock yesterday. I'll stick with my guns. Jock? Jock? Yeah, he hasn't hit one in a D-backs uniform yet. It's coming. Uh, that's like that's like plus 3,000. So Jock and Juan Soto are going yard tonight. Book it on BetMGM. <sighs> Placing it right now. That's some money. Yep. That's some money over on the BetMGM Sportsbook app. My goodness. Hold on. Give me a it's second. It's like plus 3,000, you said? 10 to win 300. That's a dub. That's a dub. To be completely Booked honest it. with you. Booked it. And you can get dubs, too, with the MLB Grand Slam jackpot, a weekly bet and get promotion on BetMGM. Place a $10 or more wager for any player to hit a home run every weekend like I just did uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay. That's been on the weekend. So <laughs> if the player hits a Grand Slam on that day, they can win $50,000 daily prize or sh- and or a share of the prize if other people win as well. Just to get this off, all you gotta do is download BetMGM Sportsbook app on iOS or Android. And sign up for, for and deposit at least ten dollars into your BetMGM Sportsbook account. Place your first bet wager and receive up to fifty to hundred dollars back in bonus bets if your bet loses. If it does lose, your bonus bets will be available once your initial wager is settled. Sign up for BetMGM. Use bonus code PH next time. Place your first BetMGM Sportsbook wager through the BetMGM mobile sportsbook app for at least ten dollars, and you'll receive fifteen hundred dollars back in bonus bets if your bet loses. Check out the show notes for full details. And now listen to me talk about a disclaimer. Bonus bets expire in seven days. One new customer offer only. Gambling problem? Call one eight hundred Gambler. Available in the U.S. Call eight seven seven eight Hope NY four six seven three six nine New York. Call one 5050 Massachusetts. Twenty one plus only. Please gamble responsibly. Call one eight hundred Next Step Arizona. One eight hundred Bets Off Iowa. One eight hundred nine eight one zero zero two three Puerto Rico. First bet offer for new customers only. Subject to eligibility requirements. Bonus bets are non withdrawable. In partnership with Kansas Crossing Casino and Hotel. See betmgm.com for terms. U.S. promotional offers not available in New York, Nevada, North Carolina, Ontario, or Puerto Rico. Now look, you can make some money on the Bet MGM Sportsbook app and. You should, right? But while we're continuing to talk about home runs, let's talk about a home run place for you guys to party it up for your house. The, no, no, not my house. Are you my, open, just, is it an open door invitation? I I, are you just opening? Are you just everybody's welcome? welcome? Everybody's welcome. Yeah, to I my come, home. Can yeah. I come over? You got. I mean, you guys can come through. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be over at Gila, so mm-hmm. that's. But I can, I'll you, leave the door unlocked for you. I okay, got you. I got that. you. Can you just let the dog Kager out? Kager at Tree's house. Can you let the dog out? For the, me? the dog is. The dogs are out already. Okay. Dogs are out. Roof. They're barking. Take yeah. note, guys. At Gila River Resorts and Casinos, nobody does it better. They offer an authentic and immersive experience with an unprecedented level of entertainment and excitement that you're not gonna find anywhere else in the desert. They haven't just set a high bar. They have set the highest bar in the valley but i'll be completely honest the bars are always pretty high for me because you know i'm not the tallest guy. Mm. i'm not the tallest guy out there guys their state-of-the-art gaming floor has it all with over 800 slot machines 15 blackjack tables and live table games not to mention arizona's largest casino sports book head to gila river resorts casinos and let them show you what next level is all about always be locked in over at gophnx.com check out the events we have Nine times out of ten, they're over at Gila River Resorts and casinos, um, except for watch the parties, all sorts time. of stuff. Except for the ten time, ten time is at my house. Well, it's also at Dobson Ranch or Dobson Ranch. Yeah, that always works too, guys. Again, you do you at Gila River Resorts and casinos. Visit play at gila.com 
for more details. 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 And I feel like what what word like that, like details, would you say is like should be pr- pronounced a different way? Details should be pronounced how it is. Details. No. It no details. Yeah. Do you have one for me? What about you, Jacob? Um. You have a word that's just you. Feel broccoli. Like to the broccoli should be broccoli. Broccoli. Broccoli goes no, kind of hard. Have to be, it doesn't have to be in an accent. It, well, that wasn't an accent. Broccoli. Broccoli. Broccolini. Broccoli. Not something completely different. Broccolini is awesome. What about you, Jacob? Broccolini is so hoity-toity. Pizza. Pizza. I don't have yourself. one, but my kid's only word, it's, it's completely different. She says hi, but she'll go hi. That's good. She yeah. hangs on it? Yeah. No, that's fair. That's fair. You that's don't good. have one? Uh, I said Broco- broccoli. 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 Why are you? Why is there an accent? It's it's maybe I just have a hidden accent. Frankie. <laughs> yeah. Um. So I've just been kind of stalling and delaying the bad news here. Um, I mean, everybody knows what the bad news is. Not everybody. I think everybody. You think does. everybody in the world. Everybody knows in the world. Knows. JJB is just hiding from the yeah, reality. JJ was here earlier. He was, was he? About, yeah, he's talking about Saint Thomas. Uh, the guy was the guy was telling you about the guy with two first names or two last names or or no, he just sounds like a mountain. A mountain. Yeah. We go hike St. Thomas later. Oh, yeah, that goes crazy. Yeah. That does go crazy. Uh, yeah, guys, Frankie Collins is gone. Mm. Um, he's in Tejas now. He is a TCU Horned Frog committed um, over the weekend, and that's a bummer. That's a real big bummer because everybody remembers the the game and in, in the moment that Frankie Collins had uh, against TCU. Um, helped Arizona State climb out to a, a giant lead against tcu yeah. in the ncaa tournament a couple years back and then obviously arizona state kind of fumbled that bag yeah uh, lost that game um and frankie has decided he is joining the dark side he's joining the dark side um arizona state will see tcu this season in yeah. the big 12 which probably hurts the most yeah um nothing but love for frankie you know from what we understand it's one a probably a better opportunity basketball wise to go get yourself a a, a run in the tournament, but two significantly more money. That that yeah. school is funded up the wazoo. I mean, funded up the dude, wazoo. Dude, their new facilities. How much? How much money was that? They just built that new court and everything, which mm-hmm. I think, first of all, I love their colors. So I do. I love their colors too. But Purple goes crazy. Their court, in sports. Their court being gray is stupid. Stop it! Like he had such a good. The purple against hardwood would have been awesome. CC the Lakers. Like yeah. It, it GCU. Makes, GCU. Makes it makes sense, but it Even reminds your screen's me, purple, right? It reminds, yeah, and purple is my favorite color. Mm. It reminds me of like apartments that get renovated and then you're just grayscale, and you're like, come on, man, like be do more, yeah, like do just more, be be unique. That's fair, so that's fair. But let, let's see how much money you talk to the people, Ryan, Ryan in the chat might be I'm late. Uh, what a miss. Also, Shane, see St. Thomas from Northern Colorado visited ASU yeah. this week. I love how everybody knows you're a sicko. Yeah. Like, everybody knows in the chat that Shane no, is the resident. No, you just got to admit you're a sicko. Yeah. He's like, a that's resident guy. I am. We will talk about that after. About St. St. Thomas? Yeah. Okay. While Shane looks up uh, some TCU knowledge, let's go ahead and just take a, a, a broader look at Arizona State basketball right now. Kind of the roster as is in terms of returning. It's a big list. Play. It's, a, it's a big list with a lot of moving pieces. In terms of returners, as of right now, Monday, April 15th, you've got uh, Adam Miller, Sean Phillips Jr., Kamari Lands, and Bryson Long. It appears those players will return to Arizona State in terms of players that were Sun Devils last year that are no longer um, at Arizona State because of eligibility or they've entered the portal. That includes Jemiah Neal, Braylon Green, Akil Watson, Jose Perez, Frankie Collins, obviously, Zane Meeks, Alonzo Gaffney, Brian Salabungay, and then Malachi Davis also on this list as well in terms of players coming to arizona state whether that be high school or the portal i know shane and eric spent a good chunk of last week's show talking about bashir jihad is that correct jihad jihad um in terms of high school players you got amir ali sammy yine man i'm gonna i'm gonna struggle with that name uh jaden smith and then bo aldridge um so as of right now that is what arizona state's roster looks like can expect um, probably a couple more players being added. Yeah. No Noreko anymore. If you guys saw over the weekend, he withdrew his NLI. Is the Juco guy? The Juco guy. Um, not the biggest loss, but another body gone. Also, from from what I have been told, keep your ears open. Um, over the next 24, 48 hours, potentially a assistant coach hiring for Arizona State coming soon. Yeah, I would expect uh, so. that sooner rather than later. Uh, $80 million renovations for their basketball facilities over the past couple of years. How much? $80 million. 
and they are just starting their new this is DCU. They're just starting their new renovations and expansions to their football facilities. Fifty million dollars. If you they're about to become powerhouse in sports, aren't they? I mean, they already kind of were, but like, oh yeah, yeah. I mean, getting to the national championship in college football gets you a lot of money out of nowhere. Yeah, gets you a lot of money. So for sure, yeah, they 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 know what they're doing. Um, My goodness, but also Texas Christian University. They get a lot of funding regardless. Yeah, that's fair. So what's this guy's saying? What? St. Thomas is his name. It's not St. Thomas. Saint There's no Th- way it's St. Thomas. Is it? Is it really? Yeah. St. Thomas is like a legit saint. Yeah. Right? Yeah, Northern Colorado Bears. Yep. Wow, St. Thomas. So when Six, I was... 6'7", lo- 200 pounds? I, yeah, look at his points per game. 19.79 what number boards is that a game. In the, in, the, in, the, in the country. 40. Yeah. This guy can score. Top 50 this guy score. Can score. Shooting but, percentage is so, more... Is, is shooting nearly 50% yeah. from the field. So when I was just looking up his stats... Um, I'm sorry. I found the St. Thomas Minnesota basketball team, and they are the St. Thomas Tommies. I thought everybody needed to know that. That's crazy. This yeah. guy is actually a bucket. Dude. Yeah. So that'd be fun. Uh, St. Thomas uh, guard from Northern Colorado. Uh, Where's number zero too? Yeah. Well, visited here yesterday. I don't know. No, two three days ago, Friday I think, and that would be him. fun. Get him. Be a very fun one. He had a stretch, and again, these are he's playing just not great teams here. Uh, but early early January, he had a stretch mean? where he Sacramento? did come on. 23, 23, 37, 27, 20, 20, 20, 20, bucket, 18, 29. Bucket, bucket. Dude is a walking bucket. My yeah. goodness, that would be huge for, for Arizona State. Heading into, like, I, I guess the Big 12 and just where we're at right now, again, in, in mid-April. Yes. I know last week and the week before, we kind of touched on the panic button. And I don't really want to have that conversation. Just where where you feel like... Not so much in terms of comfort, but just how you feel this roster is coming together as it stands right now. I mean, there's five people on it right now, excluding the freshmen. Like, there's I'm, nine. Well, you're, I mean, you the got fr- the freshmen. Excluding, excluding the, the freshmen. freshmen. There's, you have four returners and and they and the transfer from the MAC. Um, St. Thomas. Yes, JJ. We'll get him. I promise. We get a MAC transfer. And a you big, promise we're getting him? Big Sky transfer. You're going to promise? I'm going to promise we're going to try. A big <laughs> Sky transfer? Big Sky? Big Sky. North Colorado. North, uh, you want me to look this up? Big here? Sky, right? Let's Has see. to be Big Sky. I don't, I don't know. I'm not a sicko like you. Northern Colorado Bears. Big Sky, yeah. Look at you. Um, yeah, Big Sky and Mac transfers, that'd be great. But I don't I have no idea. I can't gauge this roster yet. Um, right now, like it sucks because you lost the roster? No. No. You lost your the head of the snake and a couple of key pieces. Uh retain Alan Miller, Sean Phillips, Kamari, Bryson Long. And grab three more guys in the portal, and you're good. Just snag them. Snag them. Hey, you three, get in. Come yeah. on. Can you imagine though, if ASU only adds three or four guys in the portal, that'd be awesome. That would just feel weird. It would just be feel awesome. weird because I'm so used to. I mean, it's still going to feel like a completely new team next year with all the freshmen, but still, it'd be awesome. Yeah, I, I mean, look, I and we were talking a little bit earlier. I think now you've kind of opened yourself up to some guys, maybe having the ability to start or step up. We talked a little bit about Bryson Long would be would be a, a great six man. Um or, or again, just somebody that you could see being scary. I think Bryson, Bryson Long, Long I think Bryson Long can be a scary scorer. I think he has the ability to to be a scary shooter. I won't say a scorer. Okay. Because he's more of a shooter than Is a scorer. Mike Miller a scary scorer? He's a scary shooter. I mean in his time. I mean kind of. I don't know if I'd call the only the only is three, that your comp? Bryson only, Long is no, Mike Miller? No, uh, no. Uh, the only three point shooter that I would call scary per se would be like Ray Allen. That guy's scary. He's gonna, Steph Curry. That, well, Steph Curry's not scary. He's like, he's, he's like threatening. He's, he's a superstar. So I, I mean, I guess Ray Allen's scary. Clay Thompson's scary. Clay Thompson's scary. Game six headband. That's scary. Yeah, that's scary. But Grayson we're talking, Allen? We're talking about Bryson Long. <laughs> Grayson Allen when Devin Booker's out? $70 million Grayson Allen. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, you're right. We we have $70 Bryson Long. Yeah, the flashes <laughs> Long showed were fucking legit. Yeah. For sure. I remember the San Diego game that I was at. Oh, so what a gross that was game. tragic. Um, he can shoot. Oh, yeah. He, he can shoot the piss out of the ball. And he 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 was he was given such a big opportunity in that game too because nothing was working. And he came in and I remember he, he was – the catalyst to a big run to get ASU back ahead of San Diego. Why wow, I can't believe I'm saying that. But also defensively, he was awesome. So yeah. um, JJ asking how are we thinking about Adam Miller next year? I think I think it's looking good. I think I think in terms of good. returning. Yeah. Yeah. No, I agree. I, th- I think Adam Miller is pretty locked into to staying at Arizona State. Um, 
especially with Frankie gone, you a, a part of this that doesn't necessarily get discussed, right, is Frankie Collins was making a, a good chunk of money at Arizona yeah. State. Now that money is something that the the staff and the roster can really play. He with. was more talking about his his, his role, oh, his role next year. Yeah, I mean it totally depends on what you get in the portal. But I think he's a guy. Yeah, but think about it. Think about it in terms of two years ago when ASU kind of had this weird void at point guard. You have that again. And so are you going to go find Marion Jackson? Or yeah, are you gonna I was going to say, who was it? It was DJ Marion. Yeah, so you had you, it, Adam Miller, DJ Horn. Like, mm. like you, you had the, the, like you had that two guard, and you're like, yeah, he could handle the ball, but I don't yeah. really want him handling the ball. Like he's he's better better used creating his own shot or or getting pl- plays ran for him. Like we we saw with Devin Booker, like he's a he's a great scorer and he can bring the ball up court and yeah. he can facilitate and he, and he has shown to be great facilitating. He's great but he's handles, a better. Yeah player off the ball because it, because he doesn't have to have the pressure and how much that takes out of you if you're not a true point guard like it physically it wears on you over the game so it i would prefer him to not ha- not have to take the ball up and i think he can be that too next year but um yeah there's a there's, there's a there's a there's a lot of guys in the portal that can handle the ball and but there is a hole at point guard right now there's a for, big hole at point guard State. and you don't really have a point guard coming in Mm-mm. so which is kind of weird, right? It, it's kind of it feels maybe just a little off for for Bobby Hurley not to have a does Bobby a, Hurley a ever true get a, point guard ever right get now? A freshman point guard? I don't know if a fresh. I mean Remy, Remy was a was a freshman, but he didn't start, right? But Remy was a true point guard. Frankie Austin Collins was a true point Austin, guard. No, I mean I'm talking about freshman Austin Nunez. Nunez, I guess. Braylon Green. Braylon Green was a two. You don't think he he could have played point? No, Braylon Green was a two. One hundred percent, he was a two. He was not a point guard. Ryan and chat, let's start the GoFundMe, Bronny to replace Frankie. One million dollar. I think you might need more. Yeah, I think, I think so you too. might need more than a million dollars to go. Get yeah, Bronny we need, James. we definitely need a true one to have a complete roster. But do you need? I guess do you need to have the true one? Yeah. Yeah, you feel like you do, dude. With this team, with this offense, I think it's going to look different. I'm going to be honest. I think the offense looks different this year. I don't think we're running the Princeton no more. I, I don't think that's happening again. I don't. I don't think it's happening. I've just got a I've got a gut feeling that Bobby like after watching the way the the postseason transpired after seeing the way the Pac-12 and how Arizona State kind of fared in the conference at the tail end of the season and really I guess when conference play started I think he knows that something has to change offensively for this team to be competitive in a conference that is just dominant that you is systems. is you is just scary. have to run a system yeah. Yeah, you have to because, look, you're not going to beat Arizona consistently if you run what you've been running. You're not going to be able to hang with Houston that hangs her hat on defense. Like, you're not going to be able to keep up with Kansas the same way that you used to be able to keep up with Kansas. You're like, there are just so many Baylor, Iowa State. Like, there are just so many ridiculously talented teams and systems and coaches in this Big 12 conference, which don't get enough love, to to, to really go about your, your upcoming season a, a true on the hot seat season without changing something, right? We've seen in years past, they've changed the rosters, right? And that's not necessarily like something maybe that Bobby wanted to do year over year, but in this era of college basketball, it's kind of what you're forced to do. So I think there will be a, a certain level of change. Now, I'm not saying it's going to be we're throwing everything that they did in the past in the trash, mm-hmm. regardless of what people may want to see. But I do think there is going to be a little bit more Const- like it's just going to be a is legit this just a feeling thing though yeah it is just a feeling this yeah. is just me sometimes houston i returns all five starters right huh houston returns all five starters no right? um no what's his Shed, name? shed's gone yeah and and i think uh uh what's his face the transfer from baylor's gone too still though if they're able to keep three of the starting five from that team lj crier a yeah, yeah, yeah. no crier might be back i don't know i haven't seen anything on crier i know the what's his name is gone though jamal shed yeah He's absolutely a gun. Um, well, a guy we talked about on on Friday's show, Thursday's Friday's show, was Austin Mason, who mm-hmm. is just DJ Horn, but for Missouri State. Uh, he plays very similar to him. He visited ASU over the weekend as well, uh, so that would be really fun. And that's that's again, that's not a that's not a point guard. He, I mean, he had three point six to six per game, but he was not a point guard. He was more of a two. So, seventeen point five points a game, three or three, forty two point three. Do you want any more bigs? Because look, out of out of all of the the players that Arizona State has lost in the portal, I, I think I said it to you earlier today. The Bryant Celebungay one really, really hurts for me because it's 
you, you didn't necessarily get a whole lot out of your bigs last year, but when he was in the game, he was a good depth big okay. in terms of crashing the glass. I'm going to say this try and try to be as respectful as possible. Okay. Um, Brian Celebunge was just a guy that tried really hard mm. with a with some good athleticism and, and small amounts of talent. <laughs> respectfully, like I think you and that 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 that's that's nothing against Celebunge. That's more to try to try to steer ASU fans in a positive direction. You can find guys like that. You know who you have to find? A guy that cares and wants it. Because mm. rebounding is such a want it thing. Yeah, it takes skill. You need to be able to jump. You need some strength. But at the end of the day, if you want that orange pill, you go grab it. Has Enoch gotten to a new school yet? You just you got to go get the ball. <laughs> and and so at the end of the day, like that's not a huge loss because it's replaceable. Um, it's not like Frankie, who is who is a unique player. Yeah, like. So that's a good way to, to describe. It. I love unique. Or I, I love unique. You love unique. I, I loved Brian Celebonge because he fucking cared. He was sometimes the only pulse that this team had. But at the end of the day, as I said, like that's replaceable. And who knows? I mean, these these two big forwards that are coming in as freshmen, like Amir Ali can bounce. It's just does he want it? And and is he going to put on some weight? I hope so. Yes, JJ Alston Mason's really good. I want him. I want a lot of guys. Give me Alston Mason. Mason. Give me uh, St. Thomas. Give me a, a point guard by the name of Chris Paul. Kane and Carlisle would be fun. JJ, come on. You guys are sickos. Let's go. You guys really are sickos. I'll let you guys do your thing, and I'm going to tell everybody about my thing, and that's uh, Circle K. Okay. I came in here. I had first off a, a just disgusting morning. Okay. I'll be honest with you. I had to drive to Sun City twice this morning. Um, didn't like it at all, but thankfully I was able to fill up my tank with Circle K. It was affordable. It was great because of Inner Circle. They helped me save three cents per gallon every day. And if you're new signing up, they're going to help you save 25 cents per gallon on your first five Phillips. My first trek to Sun City filled up on the way back. It was fine. Came into the office, said, hey, Shane, we got to we got to change some things around. I got to go back to Sun City. Mm. Picked up an energy drink at Circle K again. That way, I was fueled just like my car to get through the day. And if you're using Inner Circle, you're going to get every sixth, sixth free on a selection of uh, Circle K products, pizza, coffee, ice cold fountain drinks, and more. Again, join Inner Circle for free by downloading that Circle K app today. Terms and conditions apply at participating locations. Visit CircleK.com for details. Yeah, after Patro and I just wanted to refuel. And unfortunately, I finished. I was part of one of the earlier groups, so I didn't. F I finished at like 9 um, so illegal pizza wasn't open yet, Oof. but man, I wish it was, uh, it'll be open some most margs. of the time it's open right now and it's always there for you. If you want some margs, if you want some tacos, if you want some burritos, if you want any of that before or after the spring break, spring game, if you want to have a beer with Kirk Carissa when he's a sun devil Stop next it. year on mill, you can Why would you say add that? a league, cause JJ just put it in the chat at illegal Pete's it's here to bring you a win with their legendary sound check deal. If you're going to a concert, if you're going to a game, whatever, bring your ticket stub in from any ticketed event and get a draft beer, house margarita for a penny. Illegal Pete's wants to celebrate with you, whether it's pregame, postgame party. They got you covered on all your game day needs. Must purchase an adult on trade to redeem your Illegal Pete's soundcheck deal. Illegal Pete's, your go-to spot for Kirk Carissa, Ken and Carlisle, and Austin Mason. No. And St. Thomas. It's not. It's not. Look, we talked, we talked earlier at the, the, the start of the show. A little bit about how you guys should hit the like button and the subscribe well, button. So really? if you haven't already, please do that. If you haven't hit the Boopy? like button. No, there's not a guy named Boopy. Kevin Boopy Miller. No way. There's no shot. I'm here for that, though. I'm Boop. absolutely here for that. Stop it, Jacob. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. If you haven't already, head over to gophnx.com today. Demon hit that diehard button. It's going to tell you everything that you are going to unlock when you become a PHNX diehard. That's discounts on merch, discounts on events, access to the diehard Discord. And so much more again head over to gophnx.com today check it out yes shane yeah head over to gophnx.com because we have so much fun stuff coming up as we, we said not only stuff at helio river resorts and casinos not only stuff at you know four peaks but also stuff where you can literally touch the grass coming up on may 10th as i've told you guys we got a golf tournament and some ASU players might be participating in it. If you haven't been, if you didn't go last year to our inaugural Keep 100 Golf Tournament, you can go this year. This was it last year. It was a freaking blast. It was so much fun. There's our friend Jalen just teeing off. 
Uh, we had Rito Express. Oof. We had just so that much a shirt cannon. That, yeah, no, that was a, the, a golf ball cannon. Uh, Trenton uh, Borgay yeah. just, <laughs> just eating golf e- balls eating out of a cannon. Balls. Sean, uh, yeah, we missed Sean. Yeah, it was, it was it was so fun, and it's going to be even more fun this year. Uh, so come out and support us, but also have a great time at our Keep One Hundred Golf Tournament. It's happening every year. Uh, it's a scramble. Uh, go to gophnextcom slash events for more details. People can't beat me. I'll be unbeatable. You really? Yeah, people got to try. You're He's gonna be, feeling inspired. You're going to be. You're going to be dialed in, huh? Yeah, I'm locked. I went to the range this weekend twice. I'm locked. You went to the range twice this weekend, bro. It's my birthday weekend. I love going to the range. So, fair, like, fair. you know, why'd you say like you had to like, defend well, it? Well, because you like act surprised that I have a life. No, mm. no. Is that what is that what I did? No, did, did but that sound like that. No, but that's crazy. That is crazy, Jacob. I know you have a life. I love you. Okay. He's a baby. I said happy birthday. He to has you. baby. Jacob's with child. Jacob's with I'm child. I'm not with child. <laughs> oh, my goodness. My child is in a daycare at a secure location. At a secure location. <laughs> Jeez. All right, let's talk about the transfer portal because that's a very unsecure location for uh, college football players. Um, it opens tomorrow. JJ, do you know everybody in college basketball that has a cool name that's averaging at least 15 points a game? <laughs> Pop I Pops Isaacs. Pop Isaacs. Kobe Elvis is a good one, too. Kobe though. Elvis is also a good one. All right, so spring portal window opens April 16th, Boop. closes on stop it April 30th for underclassmen, and then for grad transfers, the portal window is extended to May 1st. How are we feeling ahead of tomorrow's portal window open? I think we'll get a pretty early idea as we get to practice immediately. Any players that aren't practicing entering the portal likely. Um, are there any like major concerns? I know we talked specifically about that wide receiver position. Anywhere else on the roster where you're just kind of like, I could see somebody entering the portal from this spot, or on the flip side, I could see Arizona State maybe targeting a position of need. I think they're definitely going to be targeting people in the linebacker room okay. just to get some more competition in there. There is there, I mean, there's a lot of names in there, so maybe not, but I think they could always use some help in the front seven. Anybody in the front seven, I think they could be targeting. Interior defensive line, maybe. Yeah. Um, you know, I, th- I, I think you're going to lose a receiver. In the corner, just because those are the yeah, positions that's fair. on the roster. Any and no, ideas? And no other reason. No, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to crystal ball somebody to leave. That just sounds. That just feels wrong. I mean, JJ's asking, what percent do you guys have on Tyson staying slash going? Eighty six percent he stays. Really? Yeah. I. I'm not. I'm not. So when we talked to him the other day, we played the clip on the show, and he said it's a business. I hope I don't have to leave. And I completely understand why you would take that as like oh, he's probably exploring. But to me, it's just like. I don't know. It, 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 I don't think I just, I don't see him leaving. He's in such a great spot here. And, and, you know, he's, he's in, he's in kind of in that group of one of those guys that last year wasn't able to play with your Xavier Alford and Jake Smith. It's like, I think he's, I think he should. There's just so many bodies in that room right there now. There are so many bodies and he's the top four body for sure. Yeah. Like for sure. You, you name your top four receivers right now and he's, uh, he's probably he's, three or four. Yeah. I, I think he, he's two. Really, I, I think he's two. I think he is a more. I just I can't put him two because I haven't seen we haven't seen Gain Ash. Gain no, Ash. that's fair. That's fair. I think if I mean if you're assuming everybody's healthy, yeah. Watching Jordan Tyson is is Here, he's the second best receiver on this team. Here's the thing though, and we're gonna be able to get and Ryan brings it up. We're gonna be able to get a pretty good idea of Heinz Ward. Yes, by what happens here, because you know damn well the first thing he did when he got that job was obviously meet with a group. But also meet with players individually, and and gauge, and just Where gauge. At, yeah. Well, like I look, I know that was your guy. Jordan Tyson said, "Quote: My heart hurts after Samples left. Like, you have to gauge and to make sure you can keep them and retain them. And we're gonna learn a lot. I have confidence, but we're gonna learn a lot. And I'll be honest, I I think at least at that wide receiver position, the immediate thing is like those guys are going to Oregon, right? Like those guys are following Samp. And I would I would say that is probably a very like if those guys, if a Tyson enters the portal, if a Troy O'Meary enters the portal, yes. I'm not gonna sit here and like try and crystal ball those guys to other places because I, I that's just not what I do. But I would say their best guess is probably to go to Oregon to follow Samp. Um, because Samp brought him to Arizona State. And you look at this wide receiver room when Kenny and the staff got here. Yeah. You look at portal wide receivers, Troy, Jordan Tyson, Xavier Guillory, Melquan Stovall. Those four wide receivers all in one way will have Jake Smith all have an impact 
on this Arizona State offense moving forward. However, how many of those guys are sitting in the room with their current NIL checks and being like, well, I can maybe go get more money and have a bigger role somewhere else. Or maybe I could just go get more money and keep my role yeah. at an Oregon, a Washington, or wherever. Right. I think you do bring up a good point in that DB room. There is a lot of bodies. I don't know how many corners. I could see a safety leave. I could see a safety leave just based off of, again, how many guys you have in that room. Who, Who specifically? Yeah. You just said you didn't want a crystal ball any names yeah, specifically. But, well, I'm not asking, like, how is, you that, have, is you, it really that deep of a room? I mean, you've got Montana Warren. Yeah. You've you have, got Shamari. Yep. You've got Alford. Yep. You've got Kamari Wilson. You've got Miles Rouser. Um, I'm missing one. Yeah. I feel like I'm missing one. I, yeah, I guess. That My, just feels like a lot. Yeah, the safety position, though, for ASU is I think you have your free and your strong, and then you have Nichols. <laughs> like, yeah. And, like, a bunch of a bunch of different guys that can play a bunch of different positions. Like, Montana Warren isn't just a safety in yeah. everything. Um, and I don't – I'm going to be honest. I don't think those guys leave. I don't yeah. think Montana Colorado Warren is a portal. A nasty pick in practice um, last week, too. Did he? Yeah. I don't think uh, Keith Abney leaves. I, like, some of these guys that were recruited by Kenny and they've been here a year, I don't think leave. I think you're more concerned about guys that, like – either didn't see the field last year a whole lot um, or their position rooms really, really added depth. Maybe running back. Maybe. Yeah, that is a pretty crowded room too. Maybe, especially with the fact that Jason Brown Jr. is coming in the fall. I know Relique Brown isn't transferring because that guy is having the most fun. Relique is having a blast. I, w- I would cry I've, real tears at Relique Brown. I've like never that. seen somebody. When they when they were doing one-on-ones on Thursday, the I think Crazy Strain started playing and he was just cackling. Just ah! The whole for for it's a great great he sounds like exactly yeah, like that just for for a good two minutes. Um, the only way I see Troy leaving to Oregon, or the only reason why I see Troy leaving to Oregon aside from Sam is because they just lost a big tall receiver named Troy, so they probably want to replace him. Just one or the other. You, yeah. can, you everybody's got to have Troy a big. Mary. Everybody's got to have a big. How tall is Troy Franklin? I don't know. Talk about somebody that I think is being so overlooked in the draft just because yeah. there's so Joe's many transferring to Oregon. Players. Shoot. Joe's tra- Joe, no. Shoot. How much are they giving you? That's tough. Troy Franklin is 6'3", 187. Yeah, no, he's a big dude. I didn't realize he was that big. Yeah. That's what Rome size, right? Or is Rome 6'4"? No, uh, Rome 6'2". No, I think Rome's bigger than 6'2". Rome's definitely bigger than... I think he's 6'4". He's 6'3", 215. Yeah, mm. he's big. So he's, he's big and he's long. big. Yeah, you're big and long, man. That's that's tough. That's tough. Anything else, Shane? Mr. Mr. Diefenbach, fish keeper himself? Uh, Joe would never. I'm not going to Cincy. Why why would we go to Cincy? Uh, I was, it's I was, really not that bad. It's not that bad. I was in Columbus. I was in Ohio way too much on the bus. Yeah, that's I've only fair. I, mm, no, draft was in Cleveland. I didn't I've never been to Cincinnati. I've got real no no desire to go. Unless the the Bengals are wearing their they're white jerseys. Those white jerseys go crazy. That's the only reason I would ever. No, I don't have anything else. Skyline chili? How do you, no. We've, we've gone over that. You're not a big Skyline chili guy? What about a little cup? Not like a bowl. Are you a chili guy in general? Chili yeah. chili fucks. Uh, I, you know what? I love chili, but you got to have cornbread with it. Mm. Like I almost need it. It's almost a necessity. Cornbread? Oh, I could go for some cornbread. Right Dude. Now. You want to go get some cornbread? Cornbread casserole? Cornbread casserole? What's that? It's like with a piece of corn in it. I see legit. I lit, I'm not even kidding you. I see like tears rising in his eyes right now. They're on the cusp. They're at the wall. Any, it's any. Sa- if I pinch you, like it's tears are definitely following. No. Okay. On that note, guys, that's going to do it for today's PH and X Sun Devil Show. We appreciate everybody hopping in today. Again, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Head over to gophnx.com. Check out the Die Hard tab. Check out that. PHNX Sun Devils podcast no tab free if you've ads. missed any of our other but podcasts. And leave a five-star review if you haven't done so already. And wow, we're following, hitting buttons. Head over to Boopie. X, Twitter, whatever you <laughs> want, guys. Give us a follow. PHNX underscore Sun Devils. You can follow me at Anthony underscore Toad. You can follow DJ Jacob Franklin at Jacob underscore Franklin 4. You can follow the fish keeper right here. Big pokey at Shane Deef. Just being a, being a dude with a dream. As always, <laughs> we will see you guys Tuesday. But in the meantime, go Devils and peace. We all silly like the mayor. 